What's up guys? My name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. I want to go live today and show you guys, uh, first of all, what we're working on. We have this beautiful 2021 Acura TSX and it's in this awesome gold color. I'll have to figure out exactly what the name of this color is, but it's pretty awesome. So it's in for our new car prep and ceramic coatings. We're going to be coating it with Crystal Serum Light from G-Technic. Um, and of course, all the plastic, the wheel faces, the glass, the whole thing. The new car prep service is everything being coated on the exterior. But we're going through the polishing right now, and uh, it's responding really nice. In fact, there's barely any defects on here at all. Little marks here and there. And we're going through with the NSP 45 from Dr. Beasley's, and that is their primer polish. And uh, when you use that, you don't have to use an IPA wipe down, a panel wipe. It just makes things so much easier. Um, there is a little bit of a learning curve with this polish. It does take multiple towels to wipe it. It can f seem like it's greasy and leave a film, but when you um, remove that film, you can coat right over it. You don't have to worry about it at all. Um, so we've coated many vehicles with, um, you know, after we polish it like this. So second thing, I want to show you guys, I already talked about this a little bit in one of our last videos, but I want to show it in action. Uh, I've been using it on the past couple of vehicles, and I do like it. Now, this is the Batoka, and it's kind of like a version of the Flex Polisher. Same batteries, in fact, as the Flex Polishers, the cordless polishers. Um, and it feels very much the same as the Flex. The, the same kind of power output and balance and everything. Um, so, the Flex feels more like um, a, a gentle polisher. And I, and I don't mean that to say that it's underpowered necessarily. Some people think that it is. Um, it's, I don't know, they, they claim that it's designed more for soft, finicky paint. It finishes out better, perhaps. Um, but I can get the same results with, you know, any other type of polisher. Uh, but the difference is, with the Flex and this polisher, the backing plate here is not as thick as the um, Flex backing plate. So it's a low profile. It spins better. The other one actually kind of needs like a washer mod or something, but I can't do that because it's a weird backing plate. So it kind of rubs against the thing here, um, against the shroud. But everything else is pretty much the same, except this, like I talked about before, has variable speed trigger. Now, someone had said that one of the other Flex machines also, the same one that I have, the X, XFE, I forget what it is, the 150, the 15 millimeter throw cordless polisher, um, someone said that their machine has the variable speed. So I don't know why mine doesn't. I don't know. I don't know if it's older, newer. I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me anyway now. Um, but let me show you this thing in action. So I have you on a tripod here. And I'm going to lower the tripod actually so that you can see um, the paint. And what I'm doing here to the paint. There we go. So I actually just polished this. I haven't wiped it off yet. But I'm going to show you what this thing sounds like and how it responds on the paint. Now I have this thing full speed, all the way up to six. That's the way I work it. Um, so I'm going to trigger lock it, of course, and go through a polishing section or a section pass, my section pass. Now, it's spinning nicely, put a little pressure, still spinning, man, it keeps the power there, it's good, and when you go up to an edge, does it stall? Barely, I, I mean, it'll, it'll stall, I can make it stall, but, but then again, when it comes to DA polishers and edges like this and, and you know, round panels, um, sometimes you can get away with a five, uh, a five inch pad like this or a five and a half inch pad, sometimes you need to kick it to a three inch to get in there if you're really cutting heavily and you need to get in there. Otherwise, if you're doing a paint enhancement, you can usually get away with just a five inch. In some areas, you might have to use three inch, but you know, that's up to you and, and what you need to do uh, on the vehicle. So you notice very well balanced, not too loud, but whatever, typical 
loudness of a polisher. Very smooth. I feel it's very well balanced. I like the battery that it's horizontally opposed like this. In all, I, I like this polisher. It, it does perform very, very well. I still think for me, the new SPTA, I think is still my favorite overall. I feel it's a little bit more powerful. And yeah, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit larger, maybe a little heavier. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it might be a little heavier. Um, I don't know. I, I still like this one better, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, so they're both priced pretty much the same, uh, but this runs on the Flex batteries. The SPTA has its own, but also runs off the Makita batteries. So eh, depends on what you want. Maybe the SPTA, uh, the SPTA is better for you because you have Makita batteries or you can get Makita batteries easier than Flex batteries. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever the case, you choose what you want, but I wanted to show this in action. It is a very smooth polisher um, and it's, it's really nice to use. So for mobile guys, doing paint enhancements, doing polishing. This is an awesome choice. This is an option. So you can make up your mind as to which one you want. And yeah, put the tool in your hand and use it. Don't just rely on my word. Um, I am trying to show you real world results and, and you know how this thing actually performs. And it does perform well. Now, I haven't really used it for heavy cutting yet, but Judging by the power that it has, um, when I was bearing down on it, it, it kept on going. So it didn't lag like other weaker polishers would. So it does have the torque, it does have the power. So I'll try it again in, um, for cutting uh, later, or I'll try it for cutting later, and see how it performs. But I am really enjoying uh, this polisher. It, it does work very well. So I'm gonna buzz through the rest of this. I am doing a full video on this, so stay tuned to the channel. And I also have another video uh, coming Oh, probably later on this afternoon or evening. It's uh, one of our, our Detailing Life series. And uh, I go through the Detail Lounge, some updates on that, some of the vehicles we're working on that day. So uh, stay tuned to that. I was just a little late in editing it and getting it out in time. I wanted it out this morning, but uh, I don't know. I was just too busy. Time kind of flew and um, I needed to get started on this job. So stay tuned to the channel for our Detailing Life series video and uh, you can enjoy that. All right, guys, I'm gonna go. I gotta finish this job. We'll see everybody later. Take care.